Hey everyone, it's Joe here at Equiparts, and I'm here with Rebecca from Graber, and we're going to show you how to properly measure your windows for blinds and shades. Thanks, Joe. So measuring uh, for window treatments that will perfectly fit in your windows can easily be done in three simple steps. So to get started, you'll need three things. We ask that you get a steel tape measure, and we say steel because we don't want any flexibility in it. For example, a cloth tape might stretch as you're measuring. So go to your cupboard, get a steel tape measure, get a pen or pencil, and then paper to write down your measurements. So the first thing you're going to do is we're going to measure the width frame to frame inside, and we're gonna measure three times. We're gonna measure at the top, the middle and the bottom. And the reason we do this, we wanna make sure that the window is square and that all the measurements are going to equal. And if not, then we're going to take the smallest measurement of the width and use that. I see, okay. okay? And always remember too, you always go width first, height second. Ah. And that's just kind of language that you use in the window industry. Gotcha. So I always say width, Height. Width times height. Okay. Very important. Gotcha. All right. So we're going to go ahead and measure this window so we can give you an example of how to measure for an inside mount. So we're going to measure the width first. Okay. And we're going to start at the top here. Notice that we're butting this steel tape measure right up against the frame. And Joe's not going to take any deductions off because when we manufacture your blinds or shades for you, manufacturing will take just about uh, a quarter of an inch to three eighths of an inch on each side, and that's done so that the blind won't rub when you're pulling it up or down. Oh, I so see. don't you take the deduction. Remember, we're going to take it in manufacturing. So what measurement do so you just, have there? Just write down exactly what we yeah, measure. Okay. Right. Uh, this looks like uh, 33 and three quarters. Okay, 33 and three quarters. Okay, now let's do it in the middle. All right. So what do we have at the middle there, Joe? That is 34, or I'm sorry, 33 and three quarters also. Okay, perfect. So we're gonna write that measurement down, 33 and three quarters. And our final width measurement is gonna be right here across the bottom. And what do we have there? Um, this one is actually 33 and a half. Okay, 33 and a half. So we know that our window isn't completely square, it's close, it's about a quarter of an inch off at the bottom. So on our width measurement, we always wanna take the smallest measurement, so that was at the bottom, and we're going to put our width measurement at 33 and a half. So let's go ahead and do our vertical measurements, which is going to be our height measurement. So we're going to measure three times again, each side and in the middle. So I'm gonna measure the left side here. Notice that I'm butting that tape measure clear up at the top of the window, and I'm going straight down, and I get 21 on the left side. In the middle, going straight down, we have 21. And what do you have over there, Joe? Let's see. That actually looks like 21 and 1 8. 21 and 1 8. Okay, so when you're doing your vertical measurement, you want to take the longest measurement. So we're going to oh, okay. do 21 and 1 8. The reason being, we want to make sure that that blind's going to come down and touch the top part of the window completely. Oh, we don't okay. want it to be short. So we took the longest measurement in the vertical. And then the last measurement, we're just going to measure that depth just to okay. make sure that that bracket's going to fix up, fit up in there. Okay. So I have just a little over an inch little over an inch and see if you do too. Yep. Okay, so we know perfect. We have that depth measurement and our brackets are going to fit up in there. So, so we have the measurements of the window. We have them written down. And the last step in measuring for your blinds and shades, we ask that each window, you document what room it's in and what window it is. So for example, we're in the conference room here, and this is going to be window one because we're starting at the left side of the room and we're gonna work around. So whatever room you're in, always document the room that it is and which window number starting left to right. Simple as that. That's great, very important, keep that organized. And so once you've measured all of your windows, what you can do is just give us a call here at Equiparts and talk to your sales rep and. Give them all the measurements and they will take care of you. So thanks so much once again, Rebecca, for coming in and, and showing us uh, this very important step in ordering window treatments. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again next time.